Overall, it wasn't a bad weekend, was it? We had a little bit of light snow early Sunday, and overall, I think it was actually fantastic as we head into uh, family day for today, of course, but the weekend wasn't all that bad. We're going to start things off with some kids out tobogganing in a system that's coming through, and that will result in overnight snow. So timing on this is actually good for family day because it's not actually happening today, but tomorrow as people return to work, this is likely to bring between 8 and 10 centimeters of snow around the GTA. Uh, if you're in Kitchener-Waterloo, um, we're probably likely looking at more in the range of, say, 5 to 8 centimeters of snow. So that system is going to bring a sizable amount of snow overnight and for the morning drive. It will slow things down. Obviously, travel on the 401, uh, really from Oshawa all the way down to Windsor, is going to be a little bit slower than normal, down toward Fort Erie as well for those heading stateside. The further north you go, the less snowfall expected. And the winds are not terrible today because we have that brief uh, high pressure in place, but the winds will pick up with this storm as it comes through. But it's not a huge, huge wind maker. It's definitely more on the side of the amount of snow expected that's going to help to slow things down for us across the region. We have a, a series, actually, of low-pressure systems affecting eastern Canada this upcoming week. So a jet stream pattern that's conducive to seeing many, many loads come through. This here is interesting for later in the week because you can see the greens. This is actually milder and it looks to be bringing predominantly, well, maybe initially snow Friday through Saturday and then changing over to some rainfall, so warm enough to see rain by the end of the week with our more powerful low. Up in sight. Well, yes, there is actually a little bit of a warm up in sight. We'll give you the details on your forecast in just a moment. For the time being, though, still cold enough for outdoor recreation like snowboarding and skiing and all of those wonderful things. Of course, we've had a lot of snow this winter as well, but let's not forget about ice fishing going to be minus 4 but feeling like minus 12. So here's the low crossing through. We have southeast winds in advance of it. Northwest winds will come behind it. The low comes through and it does bring a sizable amount of snow. So this is the one we were talking about last week coming in and it has held true actually all through these all of these computer models have been coming through ever since. That low does depart Ottawa and Montreal getting some snow from that as well. To the tune of um, between 5 and 10 centimeters of snow along the 401 corridor between, you know, Oshawa and down toward Windsor, it's going to be a slower than average drive. And then the further north you go, those snow totals do uh, uh, hold off a little bit or actually are diminished somewhat as you head up toward Barrie. But so south of the, that and down toward the lower lakes, we definitely have a lot of snowfall on the way. Let's take a look at, again, we have the uh, snow coming in. Then we have another system. We actually have three systems coming in this week. There will be another one for Thursday. But look at what happens on Friday. Yeah, that's a four with rainfall in the forecast. So the next system that comes in that has any really amount of uh, strength with it is actually going to be warm enough to draw up some milder air. May initially be snow and then changing over to rainfall by the time we get to the end of this week. So in answer to the question, is there mild air in the forecast? The answer is yes. Up in sight. Actually, there is a warm up in sight to the point where our next system by the end of the week could be changing to rain. <laughs> I know. It might feel a little bit spring like. Okay, maybe not entirely, but at least a little hint of that. Did not feel spring like this morning. There's no question. We saw some very cold morning temperatures. Hamilton nearly minus 23, Toronto minus 17, and London. Uh, minus 28.3 degrees earlier this morning and certainly lots of cold temperatures in place even through the afternoon today we're still going to have wind chills in about the minus mid-teens so you got to dress appropriately for those types of conditions but the cold air is going to slowly moderate as the week progresses as we get our next system to come through with the snowfall it does temporarily bring us a little bit of a brief spell of warmer weather with it, but more so the next one coming in that helps to bring a more southerly flow to the point where it may be snowfall changing over to some rain of snow on the way. So it will look nothing like that. You're going to have to give yourself some extra time, no question. As this list, uh, low pressure system comes through, it does bring us some briefly gusty winds, but we're more so concerned about the totals of snowfall, which can be in the range of, say, 5 to 10 centimeters of snow. And we know what 
a couple of centimeters can do. So certainly this will be a significant low. We've got a weaker one for Wednesday. That's not going to bring a lot. It's the next one for Friday that brings snow changing over to some rainfall possibly by Friday. So there are the snowfall totals as we see them right now. Lake Ontario, Lake Erie shorelines seeing the most between 8 and 12 centimeters of snow. And the temperatures are staying cold for the time being. And